Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. I uh, started a new series, this is the beginning episode one, of uh, Cockroach Mondays. Now, if you've been watching my streams lately or my videos, I've been doing a special on Mouse Mondays, and since the end of November, beginning of December now, I've, uh, I've moved on from mice and we're going to talk a little bit more about cockroaches. I'm sorry about whatever this camera is doing to my shirt. See now, there, I fixed it. <laughs> but, uh, and there, it did it again. Look at that. Well, anyway, we're going to go in talking about uh, cockroaches today. Now, the first episode is mostly just how to identify your cockroach problem. Um, let me do, so I'll go show you some Google searches that I did and brought up some really good images for you so that you could uh, identify what your problem is you know you've, you've got to find out what you, what you've got you know uh, German cockroaches or now now I will tell you I'm in Virginia I'm local to Virginia I'm not going to be going over every cockroach in the United States today I know I have a lot of people all across the country that watch me but I'm only going to talk about what I know and I know German roaches oriental roaches American cockroach a uh, brown banded cockroach and a uh, a Pennsylvania wood roach. Now we're not. I'm not going to go into brown banded roaches because they're a whole lot the same as Germans as far as the way they behave and and uh, they're not the same in where they live. I might go ahead and do a search and show you the difference between brown brown banded and German roaches, but they uh, they do infest apartments and stuff like that, just like uh, German roaches do. But we're going to go over the the top four right now. And a lot of times when you have a German cockroach infestation, you do have brown banded roaches as well. Now, I have pictures here. The first one we're going to go over is an American cockroach. Now, let's see if I can if I can bring this up here. We're going to go over top of... No, that's not it. <laughs> that wiped me out, didn't it? This is... I'm all new to this computer thing. It's obvious, isn't it? Let's just take off my logo here, and there we go. That's fine. All right, so this is a Google search of an American cockroach. Now, if you'll look right here, let's see, does it show my cursor? It's supposed to show my cursor. I guess it's not going to show my, let me go ahead and take that out. Let me take myself out too, and we'll see if this fixes it. Uh, video capture, there we go. All right, so select that here oh it's not showing my cursor all right well anyway if you look at that picture right there that is a American cockroach now they can be up to two three inches long I have seen them where they're like three inches long they're pretty large uh, you, you want to um let me see if I can my mic's really peaking bad let me see if I can turn this down so so it's not so loud oh uh, all right, so so American cockroaches they prefer steam vents, places like boilers. Uh, they uh, they lay their eggs in uh, basements, warm basements. They like to get in. Uh, one one place I know that that had them one time. It was a dormitory, and they had a boiler system that would heat all the dormitories. And this uh, the all of the steam vents that went back and forth to all the dorms were full of these American cockroaches. American cockroaches love hot, humid conditions. That's what they prefer. They're not very common. You don't see them very regularly. I have a customer that owns a restaurant and the things get in his restaurant. Now the reason they're getting in his restaurant is because his basement is really hot and really humid and they breed in his basement. So that's an American cockroach. There's not really a whole lot to say about them because people just rarely get them. But I wanted to go over them because they are a problem in Virginia. I do see them off and on in Virginia. And so I wanted to bring that up. And then we'll go into the Pennsylvania wood roach. Now this is one that you may have seen yourself and not realize that you've seen it. Oh, look there, my finger's working. Uh, these can fly. These roaches will come in your home at night. They're attracted to light. They're not like a normal cockroach, like when you when you flip the light on and they'll scatter, they'll run from the light. This one does not do that. It is a, uh, it's a much like a moth. I mean, it's a cockroach, of course. They lay their eggs in rotting wood, uh, decaying wood and things like bark, uh, mulch beds. Uh, I had a customer one time that brought in a load of these, uh, of these uh, cockroaches right here in her home. 
by accepting she what she did was she accepted uh a load of mulch from a friend and what he had done is he chopped up a whole bunch of trees and dead trees that had been laying down for a while and there it goes there's my phone ringing i'll be right back sorry about that i'm on call all the time people call me i'm open 24 hours so <laughs> but anyway um so like I was saying, the, the Pennsylvania wood roach, I had a customer one time bring these in a load of mulch she got from a friend of hers that chopped up a whole bunch of trees that were laying down on the ground and they were just trying to get rid of some old brush and debris and stuff and it was full of these roach eggs. She brought them home, she laid the mulch all out around her house to you know keep the weeds down and stuff like that and within two weeks, these were all over her house. They were crawling all over the walls. They were coming in everywhere. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen because usually when you see these, uh, they like to get into restaurants uh, that are open, you know, at night after dark because they come to the windows and they crawl on the windows because the light is shining outside through the windows and they're attracted to light like a moth. So they don't really breed indoors. They don't cause a problem. They don't infest. Uh, you really don't have to worry about them too bad about spreading disease or anything like that because they they really just they like rotting wood and stuff they don't they're not really bad for you know uh, decaying animals carcasses or anything like that so and they're they're too other than a palmetto bug now I, I did say I wasn't going to say about you know roaches from other states but palmetto bugs down in Florida California Louisiana down south they uh, they fly but and I, that's mostly all I know about them. They're pretty large. You know, they're real large. I did have a guy one time bring them into Virginia uh, on a FEMA trailer that he had bought down in Louisiana. He went down and bought it and brought it back, and it was infested with those palmetto bugs. But um, these aren't to be confused with palmetto bugs. They do fly, but they're a Pennsylvania wood roach. And so we've gone over that one. And now here's an oriental cockroach. Now, this is one that you need to worry more about. Uh, these roaches, you'll see this is the... Uh, you see, you've got all the different stages here of life. You've got the adult. You've got the, uh, you know, the mid-range nymphs. You know, they shed their skin. They go through instars. All roaches go through an instar. So basically, they hatch out. They're little babies. They come out of these egg sacs. So this is the, the youngest here uh, in this picture anyway. Um, but they they hatch out of these eggs. They, uh, they grow. And as they grow, they shed their skin, which, of course, all cockroaches will do that. They all will shed their skin. And so as they get larger and larger, then they reach an adult, they, they stop shed, they stop molting then, but then they're full size. Now, these do like rotting material. They, they like to live in drains. A lot of people will call them water bugs. Uh, let me show you real quick. I just want to, I want to uh, settle this myth. I want to show you what a water bug looks like. That's a water bug. That is not an Oriole cockroach, just, just to get that straight. Because I know a lot of people do call these, you know, water bugs. Um, but German co uh, Oriental cockroaches are not water bugs. They are, uh, the reason that people call them water bugs is because they come out of storm drains. They come out of sewer systems. They come out of floor drains. They come out of bathtubs. And they like the rotting uh, debris that goes down in your drains. Um, because that's what they, that's what they lay their eggs in. That's what they prefer. Also, they like rotting carcasses. They like to eat the, uh, the dead and dying. I mean, the dying, the dead, the dead bodies of different creatures and stuff like that. So they will lay their eggs inside of, of, uh, like I said, rotting carcasses. And that's one reason why you really want to try to control these before they can infest your home. They can infest. They're a slow hatch rate. They don't uh, it takes, I feel it's like 45 days or so for the eggs to actually hatch. I can look that up real quick. Let's see. It's hard for me to keep everything, uh, it's hard for me to keep everything straight in my head, uh, with all the th different things that I know. Let's go here. This is the entomology, oriental cockroaches. This is Department of Agriculture. This is a really good site too, by the way. It's Penn State. They have a lot of really interesting stuff. You can learn a lot about bugs here, but, um, Let's see here if we can find the hatchery. Oh, there's that picture right there that I found on Google search. But, um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure it's 45 days. I know that uh, Germans can be 28 days. Okay, here we go. Females produce an average of 
eight capsules, each containing 16 eggs that hatch in about 60 days. Oh, see, that's even better. So, uh, yeah, and so they're really slow. You see, it's only 16 in egg, eggs that hatch in 60 days under room temperature. Nymphs molt from 7 to 10 times. So it takes them a while. Lifespan of an adult is 5 to 26 weeks. So they don't really live a long time, and they don't... Uh, they don't have a lot of babies, so usually you can get ahead of them really easy. And if you live in the country, these things come from like mulch, uh, you know, mulch debris. They like to get into the, uh, like I said, leaf debris and stuff like that on the ground. They really like mulch beds. I recommend not using mulch around your house, especially wood mulch. Um, you know, stones, crushed red brick. Uh, pea gravel, something like that would be better. You know, it allows more circulation and it doesn't hold down, doesn't hold the heat in and the moisture in like wood mulch does. So you don't really want to use wood mulch uh, around your house. And not only that, but it's food for termites. And if you don't want termites in your house, you know, it's best to keep rotting wood and stuff like that away from your house. So that's the oriental cockroach. And if there's any questions about anything that I've mentioned at all, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below. If you know of any other cockroaches that I am not mentioning here, don't hesitate to leave that in the comments either. Because, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm all up for new stuff. I'm just going over what I know and what I understand. So uh, I'm not going to try to go into something I don't understand anything about. Now, I'm not, I'm not against learning, but this is what we're going over today. So... And then we have German cockroaches. Now this is the one, this is the one that everybody uh, worries about getting in their apartments. These are the ones that are the bane of civilization, in my opinion. Um, now, if you'll look here, these are the nymphs, little babies. Now they're all nymphs, except this is an adult here. But you've got all the nymphs here, little babies crawling around. There's a little mid-range one here. Uh, this one is a, I believe this is a female. Let me check. Let's do that too while we're at it. Might as well. Let's see. Uh, female to male comparison. I can't type and look at the screen at the same time. All right. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it is the male. I thought, you know, I told my wife the other day I thought that was the male. All right. So this is the way you tell them apart. This is a male here because it's got these little edges here on the sides and the female doesn't have those. She's more of a, of a tapered look on the backside. So that's a male cockroach, not a female cockroach. But um, these are what most people ask me questions about. These are the ones people are worried about. These are the ones we're going to be going over in the series, how to deal with cockroaches. Um, like I said, it's going to be Cockroach Monday. We're going to talk about cockroaches. We're going to talk about what you do to get rid of them. These are the hardest ones to get rid of. These are the reason that I've been kind of shying away from this subject because it's so much information that needs to be shared about them. It's going to take a series to do it. Uh, baiting is effective as long as they're not immune to the bait. Liquid application, spraying, you know, is effective as long as they're not immune to the chemical you're applying. Uh, boric acid is effective. Diatomaceous earth is effective. Um, they can't get immune to those. It's more minerals and, and they're, not, they're not immune to those. Um, you can mix boric acid and sugar. Some people say, well, you know, I want to try that and see if it, but you don't even need to do that. You could just lay it as a real fine powder and they'll crawl through it and it'll kill them. Um, but they are very difficult to get rid of because boric acids, diatomaceous earths, and powders and stuff like that do take longer to get rid of them. So you, the whole point is to kill them as quickly as possible so they don't reproduce. The problem with German cockroaches is if you use a weak pesticide, like a lot of the chemicals you buy in a store are very weak. They're not, they're not, if they're already pre-mixed, they're not mixed to clean out. And I'm going to go over some labels and stuff. We're going to go over labeling in my next episode. Uh, how to properly follow your label to make sure you're successful at getting rid of bed bugs. I mean bed bugs, not bed bugs. I'm thinking bed bugs, but it's cockroaches. Um, same with bed bugs, though. You want to always follow your label, and there are specific notations in most labeling for cockroaches where you're actually allowed to mix it at double strength 
on a clean out service. So you want to make sure you always follow your label because that's where a lot of people mess up with these. Um, I was at my uh, where I get my license renewed every uh, every two years in order to keep my license in the state of Virginia. I was there and the bear representative, if anybody wants to mention him in the comments below, I can never remember his name. But um, he was explaining that at Bear, they uh, they have these um, science, basically these these uh, you know these uh, oh what do you call it? Now nah, I can't remember. My brain's gone. But anyway, they do re research and stuff on on cockroaches, and they've been able to take a chemical that's mixed at half the strength and breed chemical resistant roaches within 90 days and then the chemical won't kill them at all so you need to understand that's how german cockroaches work now all cockroaches have that ability to build an immunity to pesticides but because german cockroaches breed so fast and brown banded i'll go ahead and look up a picture of brown banded cockroaches too while i'm at it let's go ahead and use this window here brown banded cockroach They usually never have very good, oh, that's, that's a good picture. They usually don't have very good pictures of them on here. But there's your brown banded cockroaches. Uh, they also are pretty much in apartment. Now, what brown bandits like, brown bandits like to get in your furniture, clothing, stuff like that. Uh, German roaches, let's go ahead and close that window down. German roaches are more likely to get in around water heaters, bathrooms, kitchen sinks, um, you know, anywhere there's a there's a readily source available for water. If you if you uh, haven't seen any in your nightstand table, but you start seeing them in your nightstand table, check and see if you've been keeping water on the nightstand. Uh, they will go for water if you keep like a glass of water. They like fish tanks. Um, but the brown banded cockroach, right here, they more prefer uh, clothing. They like to be in bedroom furniture and places like that. So that's that's what they prefer. So. But a lot of times you'll find them in a German cockroach infestation. You'll have both in the, in the same house. So, uh, but they do build immunities pretty quickly. They breed qu pretty quick, just like German cockroaches do. But um, mainly we're just going to focus on German roaches because the treatment for German roaches is going to work for the uh, brown banded roach as well. So I hope that this series is going to uh, help you guys. I'm running at about 12 minutes or so, 13, 14 minutes or so. I don't want to go too long. I want it something that you can pretty much flip through pretty easy and find what you want to want what what you want to see and learn about if I could speak I'm having a real hard time today it seems but you guys have a really great day if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you really like it think about subscribing to my channel oh and also I have had a few complaints where people haven't noticed when I went live and I just want to make sure you know I, I try to do a live stream every Friday night. Now, I do travel on Fridays because I do statewide bed bug control typically over the weekends. So, uh, you know, every so often I may not be able to do a show on Friday night. I always try my best to do a live stream on Friday nights. Um, if you want to catch those streams, you need to click. When you click subscribe, there's a little notification bell there. And if you click that bell, it'll look like the bell is ringing. That's what you want it to look like if you want to be able to get my messages, you know, whenever I go live. Every time I go live, it'll send you a message right away. Hey, Jason's live over on Green Acres Pest Control. So if you uh, want to check out my website and you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to hit me up over there. It's greenacrespc.com. It's A-K-E-R-S. And I'll uh, go ahead and put my little thing up here. Well, let's see. I am on the wrong window. That's why it's not working. Uh -huh. There we go. Y'all have a really great day. I appreciate it.